beginners were telling us, how about us? And <laughs> there, uh, there we are. We now have a live cohort-based course for beginners. It's an eight-week course, live sessions spread throughout the week, but it's also flexible. I mean, we know people are busy, do most of the learning at any part of the day they want. So this is for absolute beginners or even those who've started learning the basics. And then yeah, often they realize, start- I need some structure. I need some live guidance. They really enjoyed this idea of like, okay, I've been putting this off for a while. I've been wanting to be a coder. I really want to do stuff with Python. Something's been holding me back. And maybe I need this thing where week after week, having other people that I meet with and can converse with. So I think the accountability, I've I've heard it many times. You've got a cohort of others who are learning with you. You want to keep up with them. And also you don't want to let them down because as a group, you want to move forward. So I think that keeps people going. Every day you have learning material. And if it says this is today's learning material, there's a bit of pressure for doing it today, not tomorrow. I think that helps. Whatever you want to go on to do with Python in the future, you always need those basics. Where do I get started if I want to learn how to program? One of the things we focus on a lot, especially on the show, is putting the stuff to action. Is that still part of it? In fact, we have even more projects in this one than we had in the intermediate deep dive. The final two weeks are entirely project-based. A capstone project builds on everything we've done in the previous six weeks. But even throughout the first six weeks, every week there's a mini project. And I think that's really important, right? Because you want to know what you're doing and why you're doing it. I really believe in understanding why you need to do something. And therefore, I teach in that way as well. But you also want a project to actually see it all happen in front of (laughs) you. I don't mean see it all happen in front of you because the students will be working on those projects. So they will be making it happen. They'll see themselves constructing something that actually, you know, then shows off the things that they've learned. You also have the forum, which is... I'm going to say 24-7. I do have to sleep from time to time, but broadly speaking. (laughs) uh, I'll get back to you eventually. Yeah, Participants can post at any time. It's very active and lively. We've had this in the previous cohort courses we've run. As you're learning, you want to be able to ask questions. And the live sessions are a great place to do that. But sometimes you want to ask a question right now, unless it's my night time, you'll get an answer pretty much right now. I think of the forum as the glue that sort of binds everything together, the content you do every day, the live sessions, the projects, and then there's the forum, which keeps everything going. The first courses start in mid-October, realpython.com slash live. I'm also running some live info sessions. You'll find the links there as well. So come and chat with me a bit more beforehand so that people can find out whether it's writing for them. On the same URL, there's a footer with a link to these sessions. Great. Bring your questions.